All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the Volkswagen Bug once again. As last time as you guys saw, we got the old pieces off, all the wrecked parts, and then we did a lot of grinding with a little bit of hammering, and then we got the new parts. So the new parts came on really well. Big shout out to carparts.com. I mean, the parts definitely are fitting, so I'm pretty happy about that. Today's episode, we're gonna start grinding, welding, and making it at least the inner structure, a piece of it. Because this will unbolt, that will unbolt, that we gotta weld. And once everything got welded, we're gonna seam seal it. Because before it wasn't really seam sealed. And you can see it was rusting a little bit there and there. So we're gonna definitely improve what it was before. But I mean, for a really old car like this, I mean, it's doing really well. I'm saying it's not, it wasn't rusted that bad. Just a lot of corrosion everywhere. But we'll get all that done. Hopefully in this episode, we'll get this thing welded in. And if we get welded in, we could put the suspension together. We could still paint it on the inside with like um, something, you know? And uh, hopefully we get some paint. I mean, there's a lot of progress and still, until we get started painting and putting some body filler on because we got some little scratches and dents we gotta fix all over the car because we wanna make this thing really nice. Also, we gotta uh, call our glass guy, see if he can get us a glass for this thing because we probably have to get this thing removed so we can paint it really nicely because it looks like they, uh, when they painted before, they painted it with it on there. You can see they did a horrible tape job. Old tape's still there. But you know, it is what it is. So hopefully our glass guy will come in. He'll cut this thing out when we're ready to start bondoing and painting. And, uh, but we still got some time. We still got to find this little chrome piece, which I have no clue where. I think I looked online, I didn't really find it. But leave us a comment down below. You know, where else we can get these parts? And I was reading your comments, you guys. Yeah, you're right. That is the jack for the car. I mean, I. I don't know what, you know, slipped my mind, you know, but uh, you know, it's the jack. Maybe we could try it out later, you know, but we still got a lot of suspension we gotta put on. We had to re-bleed the brakes. I mean, this thing's reminding me a lot of the Mustang we got, you know. If you guys haven't seen that Mustang rebuild video, it's on there, you know, we'll leave a link down below. And I mean, we're still debating what to do with that Mustang. I still wanna swap it, you know. I've been reading the comments, everybody's like, you know, keep it original. Team Mike, Team Mike. Come on guys, let's, let's, let's chop that thing up, you know, I mean. It's all, it's all up to you guys, you know, if, if it does good, we'll, we'll chop it up. If not, you know, it's going to be my daily driver, and then this will be Michael's daily driver, you know? Wow. I mean, he doesn't like the Mustang. I, I mean, I like the Mustang. I like a classic, yeah. But anyways, let's get straight to work. Let's probably take all these panels off and uh, get the inner structure ready for weld through primer, clean everything up, and get ready to weld.
All right, so we drilled the holes, so we're gonna weld through these holes. But before we get everything welded, we're gonna get the scuff pad. We're gonna spray something with what we're gonna weld over there with the weld through primer, and the rest we're gonna do etching primer because we don't want no corrosion, we're no rusting from the inside out. So definitely a good step to do. But let's go ahead and scuff all this up and get the primer down. All right, so we got the panels on. We can put them back where they were supposed to be, but this time they're all painted and we're ready to weld. So I'm double checking all the gaps. I'm really happy with everything. All our holes definitely lined up really good. So we're ready to start welding. Once we get most of it welded, we'll take off this inner, the outer fender, because I think it's giving a little bit of support. It's holding it, you know, like in and out, but definitely a lot of good progress. Let's get straight to welding. All right guys, so we got the bug a little higher in the air. And I was reading guys' comment, everybody's like, it's a bug, not a beetle. So we're learning every day, you know, we're learning from your guys' comments. So definitely leave us a comment if we're doing something good or bad or something at all. So I'm pretty much ready to get this thing welded in. We got a nice little welder right here. I've been using for many years, works great. And uh, from factory, it had probably like a, maybe 100 spot welds. We're gonna put like 40, 
bigger ones then. So it should be perfectly fine. And we're gonna melt it a little bit hotter than they did it, you know, a bit less grinding for us. So let's uh, put my gloves on, put the helmet on, and start welding. guys i did a great job welding it on there i'm gonna go ahead and grind these off probably gonna go ahead and take off the subframe itself not the subframe you know cross member whatever that is basically to get it out of the way that way i can grind freely and get it ready for the seam sealer and paint So go ahead and get all our other parts off and put it onto our new piece. That'd be great. Save as much as we can.
All right, so we got a lot of progress done on this bug. So pretty much what we did, we, we put a little bit of filler on the, on the panels that we grinded and we welded. So it's looking nice and clean because once you take off the wheel, you're going to see all that. And we're going to want to do a really good job. Also, we did a lot of seam sealing because from factory, they didn't really seam seal a lot of stuff. That's probably why they had the corrosion and rust going on behind it. But we did a better job and we seam sealed all of the inside and inside the cab area where the foot is. It's kind of crazy that this is where your foot is, right there. That's, I thought it would be more, you know, structurally sound more, you know, or strengthened. Because if you hit something right here, boom, it goes right into your foot. But uh, pretty cool, you know, for how they designed it back in the day. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. You guys stay tuned. For next time, we're going to start doing the body work on this bug and getting ready for primer, getting ready for paint. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll do a different color. So leave us a comment down below. Should we keep this... This white color or should go a different color? Like maybe the color of the truck, maybe like a pearl red, a black, an orange. And who knows, the sky's the limit. And uh, with your guys' help, we could definitely do that. So leave us a comment down below, give us a like, and we'll catch you guys next time.